Hey guys, this is Dillpill here again with another graphic scale tutorial. This time we're going to talk about coloring in your outline. We're just going to do basic colors and then I'll make another tutorial later on shading. So, you're going to want to have your outline finished before you color it. That's kind of obvious. Uh, you see here I made like a tree design. I made this, the, uh, the bush part using the circles up here and then erasing the um where it covers each other but leaving a couple here to give it a nice little 3d look so the first thing i always do when i'm uh... coloring i want my background not to be white uh... this just helps me like contrast it see how you can really see where the tree is now it, it helps when you're like putting it into something you can see kind of what the tree is going to look like all on its own so your main thing you're going to want to use is your fl flood fill here and see I already made my colors I'll make some new ones though and I'll show you that process so I always double click and it'll open up this cool little color box you can just select the color like oh I like this one just click that you can darker and lighten it uh, and so obviously we're gonna want some green for our leaves but you can I could also go for some red or some yellow for like an autumn look which I'm not gonna do cause that would take a while and I wanna keep the tutorial as short as possible so I'm just gonna go with like a normal green like that's pretty bright but I'll just go with it See now you're going to have it over here. Just flood fill. You can always undo, just color it in a different color. See that looks kind of nice on there. I'm now I'm going to I'm just going to leave that cuz I like it. But you could darken it, lighten it, anything you really want here. See you click on it here, it's all here. Like I could darken it a little if I want. It turns like that. Lighten it. But I like it just like that. So I'm going to go to a different one. Let's go with that brown color. Brown is always hard to find on here. But what I think of it is as I go to orange and just make it darker. See it's orange and then darker it's brown. I'm not really sure why this is. I don't really know the color wheel so I'm sure that would explain it. But I just go with it. So that's a pretty dark brown color. It looks pretty good for the wood, but I think I want that to be a little lighter. There, like that looks good. See, now you've chosen your colors. Now, in pixel art, you only want a few colors that you're using total. So, like, on my tree before, I've already shaded and colored this. I just took out all the colors for the tutorial these are my old ones I have three variations of each color that usually works for me so I'm gonna make a dark green that'll be like where shadows hit my tree leaves that looks good right there and then I'll make a really light one where the sun is hitting it directly and this is kind of your median where like in the middle where like maybe those lighter shadows hit or it's like on the border of the shadows but now you just want to try these like that looks a little dark for direct sunlight I'll lighten it a little but still want to be nice green you don't want it to look like you can really see the white in it that looks like a shadow tree so that looks good I'll return that Let's make another dark brown. Mm, this one looks perfect. Just a preset one. Those are always good. Let's make this one really light. Let's make it a little lighter. You just, you just want to keep uh, looking at it, seeing what you think, and then changing it. And then that one. Oh, that looks like purple. That's not good. We don't want it. Let's just go to brown, make it really dark. 
that looks nice there we go and there's a very simple process of just choosing your colors and then coloring the outline you don't want to do that right now that doesn't really help me at all I always do that at the very end like when, if this was my final tree I would just start like flood filling the uh, outline to be the same as this but some pixel art really looks good with the black outline like you can really tell oh that's not good see we don't see how the blacks touching the flood fills gonna touch that so you get your pen tool to fix that and you just choose where the tree ends like mine looks like that looks good and then you just flood fill I uh, missed one right here and then just continue flood filling this is usually done after you finish and these right here because you still want those in the final thing so you can't really see 3d you want those to either be really light or really dark in contrast to the colors around them so you can really see them that's where the black outline helps if you like keep it like if you go back to what my original tree was you can really see everything it's really defined so that like down in the bat preview here it looks pretty good i like that tree so that is how you want to choose your colors and lay out a basic outline i'll be making uh, the next tutorial all about shading